Welcome to Cooking For Real, where today we're doing a experiment, a guess. That's what we're doing, we're making a guess. I have put chicken thighs and bouillon into this crock pot on low. Just a cup of water with that bouillon. We're going to, through the day, make this into something. Okay, so it's about um, an hour and a half later and I thought, self, why not carrots? So I went ahead and chopped some up into bite-sized pieces because let's face it, with chicken and broth in a crock pot, we're making soup. The chicken is coming along nicely. Nice and slow, we're going to, these are thighs, so it'll be a nice, rich soup. Into the brine we go. Carrots take a little longer than most vegetables to cook, so I figured I better get them in right away. So, potatoes or rice? It's chicken, so I think we're gonna go with rice. And I've learned my lesson the hard way. You don't put the rice right in the soup because it just comes out mushy. So what I have here is one cup of plain white rice that I rinsed until the water ran clear. I'm boiling water, which is now screaming hot. I am going to pour off two cups And that hot water goes into the rice. Give it a nice little stir and even it out. Cover tightly. And then into a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Now it's time to add some flavor to this soup. What I have here is dried oyster mushrooms, half of a yellow onion diced, I have dried celery, and I decided to kick it up a notch, but just a notch. This is dried shishito pepper that I dried myself and put through the coffee grinder for a coarse grind. See what we have here. Those carrots are cooking nicely. This would be a good time for a little bit of a stir. And we can see how that chicken's coming along. Very soft. So what we're going to do is just start to break it up. As you can see, it's breaking up just fine with just my wooden spatula. All right, here we are, the final step. Um, it's a couple of hours before we eat, so I'm going to add the seasoning in now. What I have here is salt, pepper, basil, sage, and garlic powder. We're going to go ahead and just stir that in. As you can see, I'm already getting a very nice, thick soup. Oh, a little steamy. Okay, everybody, here we go. It actually turned into more of a stew than a soup. So my no recipe chicken thighs here, we're about to give it a go. Oh, it's delicious. Everything blended so nicely and the peppers give it a little bit of flavor, but not a lot of heat. I hope you enjoyed me trying to figure out what to make for dinner tonight. It just goes to show you, just because you don't have a plan, it doesn't mean you can't make a great meal.